Hello, my name is Terry DeLapa and I'm the 2015 Chair of the Rubber Division of American Chemical Society. This week we are hosting the International Elastomer Conference in the new Convention Center in downtown Cleveland. We're very happy to be here. It's a very exciting city now. One of the most outstanding things I saw today on our first day at the show was a new student program. It was just initiated this year for high school students and it was uh, very successful. We had 100, about 150 high school students interested in the sciences come. We had a hands-on experience for them with their teachers and with guest teachers doing scientific projects related to rubber. They also got to walk the show floor and uh, learn things about people that are already working in the industry and all the things that are involved. And it was very successful. This is the first time we've done that, and it was an outstanding success. If you look at the demographics of the rubber industry, we are an aging group. And one of the goals that I've had and will continue to be sought after by the rubber division is to involve young people and get them interested in understanding why is rubber important, why is this industry important, and to learn that they can have a good career working in the rubber industry. So we are expanding efforts. We've worked with colleges in the past. We're expanding and signing up uh, student groups with other universities. But we wanted to expand that, so we're now involving the high school level students. And eventually we want programs that start in kindergarten and go up. We've had excellent registration. We had just about 4,100 pre-registered. That's up tremendously over past years since the recession in 2008 and 9. And uh, today we had about another 500, so we're up to 4,600. Our goal is to get over that 5,000 mark, which would put us back uh, similar to the numbers in 2007. And we're very excited that we think we have a good shot at doing that. 2016, I won't be chair, uh, Leo Goss from Lanxis will take over as chair. And in the biggest project that's going to happen for Leo is this year, one of my goals was to put a new strategic plan in place. That becomes initiated in January of 2016. So it'll be interesting to see the new programs that come forth to support those goals. We'll also be expanding the number of student chapters we have and having more activity with those people on the floor. So I'm looking forward to big things. We've already expanded this year on the show floor. We have 259 exhibitors. We had to, we had to expand the available space twice during the sign-up process. I think that'll continue going into the next year.